I'm 20 years old and uh, my primary is Facebook. I use Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram, but that's linked to Facebook. The social media that I use most often is the site Tumblr. So I'm really familiar with three different social media uh, networks online, and that would have to be Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. I started using Facebook back in about, gosh, it seems like forever ago, about 2008. I was probably 14. I actually stalked Tumblr for about two years before I actually signed up a few months ago, maybe four months ago. So I started using Facebook in 2006, I believe. Didn't really use it all that much, it was just sort of there. Around 2008, I think I started using Facebook, and it was just a really popular thing that was going on at the time. My friends introduced it to me, and it just started to go from there. A lot of my friends used the site, and so I was begging my dad to let me get an account. I got a link over AIM that said, you know, try this new social media website, Facebook.com, and I was like, this must be a virus. And I kept getting it from my friends over and over, and I was like, you know what, I'm, I guess I might as well just see what it is. The thing that encouraged me to actually join was my friend got one, and I didn't really know anyone on Tumblr until then, and I had mostly done role-playing and like storytelling over it. It's a good way to connect with my friends outside of school. I hadn't really just personally like put myself out there until my friend joined. My primary use for Facebook would have to be keeping in contact with professional sources that I've made out in California. Nowadays, mostly posting random things, saying things that are on my mind. Well, I do repost a lot of just like graphics and pictures for like things that I like. Let me see what I posted this morning. Gunships make the best daycare nurses. I go on a lot when I'm bored. I think Facebook wastes a lot of my time. Uh, I mean, I don't post that many, many things on it anymore. And right now, since I'm away at college, I use it to stay connected with my family and to let them know what I'm up to. So it was a good way to connect with my friends outside of school. I love the timeline. Uh, a lot of people I know didn't really like the timeline when it first came about. Uh, the timeline, you know, makes it so your events are more uh, streamed in a, in a vertical sense where you can go and check back in, and, you know, at a certain year, a certain month. It seems to pop a little more too in a sense that it, it focuses a, a lot around pictures. I think that it's a little less invasive than other sites because you don't have to share anything that you don't want to. You don't really have to give any information that you would have to on Facebook or My Life or anything like that, so you can just say whatever you want.
First, I started to use it to follow uh, stars, like celebrities, to know what they were up to. Producers are always putting pictures on there of what the studio is like or what the set is like. It's really good at keeping up with things, like news and everything. So if something happens really important, it'll be on Twitter. When I was out in California, um, we learned a lot about how social networking can really help you create professional connections with people that you might have to work with later on. A little while back, I made a connection with a man by the name of Will Keenan out in California who works with Maker Studios. And, uh, you know, I kept in contact with him, found him on Facebook, you know, liked his, his studio page as well. One of his uh, clients, Ray William Johnson, who uh, he makes, he helps produce and create some of his videos for his Equal 3 channel, uh, was tweeting on on Twitter about how he was going to be Skyping with you know some of his fans. They just had to leave their Skype name. So I left my Skype name, and then I went to Facebook, and I saw that Will Keenan was on, and I said, hmm, well, let's see if I can contact him. So I typed into Will. I was like, hey, Will, you know, uh, I met you out in California. Hopefully you remember me. I uh, think it'd be really cool if you could have, uh, you know, Ray William kind of have a, uh, have a chat with us, seeing as, you know, we came and saw your studio, and we really loved it and everything. And uh, I got a reply right back, said, I'll get right on it. And I get a Skype chat within five minutes saying, hey, are you uh, willing to talk with Ray still? And uh, we had a Skype chat with one of the top YouTube subscribed uh, stars on the internet right now. Uh, being able to have that kind of connection with someone who's thousands of miles away, um, a phone call might not have done the trick because, you know, he could have been busy. So Facebook, again, that instant gratification of being able to get something right away, um, it has that incredible ability. There's one story I can remember about Twitter that was really cool for me. I follow a lot of bands. One band I follow called We Are The Fallen, who's a slightly lesser known metal band. One day I logged on to Twitter and they had started following me. And I thought that was really cool. In essence, the, the only problem I've really realized when I was on Facebook is, you know, I, I, I accumulate all these friends um, over time and, you know, people I've met doing different jobs, going to different places. While I really like the length of the messages sometimes, it's nice that they're concise and to the point. Sometimes it's annoying to have to stick to 150 characters. But the one thing that I've noticed is, you know, over the years, you know, I'll go into my friends and the faces seem to become less and less connected. I'm like, who, where did I meet this person? Or where did I see this person? I wish there was easier ways to sort of block people. Because certain people are just annoying and you want to stop seeing them. Uh, you have to break tweet tweets up because of the 150 char character limit, so if you would like to post something that's really long, and I see a lot of stars that are addressing a comment, like something that's going on in their lives, they have to break it up, and if someone like if Justin Bieber posts something, it just stops at the end if it's a 150 character limit, and then somebody else will post something, and then Justin Bieber will post it again, and that definitely is a, a con to Twitter. I feel like Facebook, if used to its right devices, can be the most powerful source of information and um, connectiveness that there is out there right now. Yeah, I think I'd continue to use Facebook. I actually got more feedback on Tumblr about my writing than I ever got in writing groups or in school. Celebrities like try to tweet at their fans as much as they can, try to respond back, so I think that's really cool.